first, let me just clarify because I think it's important when we recommended a transparency requirement, we were thinking about the general requirement for all training data and not only copyrighted works. Uh, so, I mean, we are talking about highly disruptive technology with a wide set of applications that carries with it significant social, economic, political risks. Uh, so knowing more about the data that is feeding models that can generate content is essential for a variety of purposes. And that's why you have so many civil society um, representatives asking for transparency in general. But let's focus on copyright. So uh, what I meant there is that everything would be easier if there was more transparency across the copyright ecosystem itself, because, um, you know, when, when you get... Um, exclusive rights over something that you own, that you created, um, and then eventually transfer those rights to, uh, to a company, to a publisher, etc. There's no, there's no place that registers this information. There's no place that you can consult that will tell you who are the owners, who are the creators, the multiple owners, uh, the title of the work. So what we think is that if there was pub if there were public repositories of copyrighted materials or if collecting society organizations themselves were required to publish the data that they have on copyright owners and they have a lot of data uh, everything would be easier so and these things are this this kind of transparency within the copyright system itself is something that we have been recommending for some time now because we know that creates a lot of problems, right? And 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 right now this would be a problem if policymakers think or expect that machine learning developers would need to know which of their training materials are copyrightable and who are the authors, the owners, the titles of the works that they have used uh, or that they have mind to train their models. So of course they will not be able to provide this information because this information is simply not publicly available for the vast majority of works. And it doesn't come attached to the works. It doesn't come attached to the original work or to the copies of those works. Um, but uh, we don't think that this means that we should abandon the transparency requirement. We just need to make it more uh, reasonable and, 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 and proportional. And as I said before, there are several ways for machine learning developers to be transparent, uh, transparent about the training data, which do not require them to know anything at all about each of the materials that they use. And I think we should also not forget that from a copyright perspective, really this transparency requirement is only essential to enforce the opt-outs. So what do I mean by this? I mean that to demonstrate compliance with copyright law, machine learning developers only need to show that they have respect machine readable rights reservations. Uh, this means that they would not need to disclose more than the details that are provided by the copyright owners themselves in the opt-out information. And even that, I mean, that, even that is questionable because maybe they don't need to disclose any information other than which rights reservations sources they have complied with.